and welcome back to Magic Cat Tutorials. And uh, you remember last time, if you watched our previous tutorial, I went over how to install your Linux system in your Parrot Security OS. So we're going to reopen that. Now, I'm going to tell you the honest truth is I reinstalled it, and the reason being is it was really fighting the memory and resources to be running the program I used to record these while installing that. This uh, little laptop just doesn't have that much resources. My desktop, yes, this one no. So anyway, I reinstalled it and went ahead and installed the uh, guest tools just to make things easier for us. Go ahead and minimize that. We're starting up our Linux, our Parrot Linux. Pardon my, my little girl cat in the background, crying for daddy. <laughs> He's a, a needy little one. Alrighty, so... Slowly but surely. Here we go. Here's old test dummy. Remember, let me in one, two, three is his dummy password. I put the little green flashy dot here so you can see where I click so you don't lose the cursor. Alright, and here we are. So it looks a little bit different from the last time. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what we did. Um, so much better when it resizes like it's supposed to. Nice size here, so you can see everything going on. There we go. Okay, so in fact, you know what? Let's go full screen so it won't be confusing to you. There you go. All right, so now um, things that I've changed. Let me organize that. There we go. Now, this is the default. This readme license that comes in is the license for Parrot. You don't need that, you can throw it away. Um, these are some shared folders. That's what the SF stands for. Shared folder installs, setups, and tutorials. Those are the three folders that I am sharing from the host uh, system. And I chose to let it show the home and network folders in the computer. You can tell it what to show and what not to. I'll not get into that in just one moment. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go over the changes I made. Change the desktop. I just right click, change desktop background. Easy stuff. Pick your background. I chose this one. We can change it to whatever we want here. That's actually kind of a cool one. But this one will change automatically, but it uses up more resources, so I don't really recommend it. We'll go with that one. Why not? Actually, put some, some greens and stuff in there. Alright, so anyhow, we changed the background. Now, you may recall this menu looked different last time. We had a, a funky kind of menu, but I'm, I'm going to show you what we did. Uh, whoops, I want to move it. Uh, remove it. There we go. Okay, so I just right clicked on the menu item and I had to unlock it first and then right click again and choose remove. Now I'm going to right click on this panel and this little bar down here and the bar up here, these are called panels. So I'm going to right click on the panel and choose add to panel. And this gives me a bunch of little widgets here that I can add to the panel. So you can see a bunch of little different stuff. And there's some fun things and there's some useful things and there's some useless things. So <clears throat> that's what all is there. But we're looking for a special menu. Now we got this one up here. I believe that's the one that it came with. We're gonna look at it and see. Yeah. This is the one you remember. Ugly menu. Really ugly. We don't want that at all. That's just too much. So we're gonna, we didn't want that one. Uh, it's just uh, too messy. So I'm gonna come down here. Now here we have some three ones. I mean uh, some other ones. Three other ones. Can't talk tonight. But um, we're not gonna use custom. We're gonna use the the main make. That's a good one. And then I'm gonna right click on it so I can select move. So move it over here. And look, that's a little bit too far because 
Well, no, that's fine. I'm going to lock it to panel. Right click, lock to panel. So now it can't be moved by accident. Okay. And then uh, we'll close that. Well, before we do, you, you see these little drawers up here I added? That's from here. Okay. I just right click on this panel and click add to panel. And then I scroll down and you see this drawer applet? So I put that on there and here's what the drawers are. They're little drawers that you can put apps in that you use most frequently. And I'm going to show you how to add to them too because we will be doing that. I also added the force quit. It's like an instant kill switch. It's a little cool graphical version. Um, if you're working in a graphical environment on Linux, it's quicker and easier just to grab that and, and kill it and open a terminal and type it and all that crap. So if you're working from terminal, it's going to be quicker from terminal. So now we added the menus and we customized the desktop background. Now what I have in here, I'll tell you what's in my drawers. We'll start at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that sounded weird, weird, didn't it? Anyway, we have browsers in this one and um, I'm actually going to move this one to the top. Right click on it, move, and it will follow my cursor. Whoops, there we go. And then click again and it'll stop. So I got Chrome and then it's going from least secure to most secure. It's just the way I like it. You can set it up however you want. Um, this drawer, move this back over. This has various text editors. I have Pluma at the top, LeapPad. Well, LeapPad no longer installs by default. Um, to Parrot Security, so you'll have to go install it in the Package Manager, which I'll show you in a moment. And LibreOffice Writer, so it's like Microsoft Word, basically. Um, let's move this one over. There we go. And whoop, don't right-click, dummy. There we go. And this is our main terminal, the Make terminal. And this is a Force Quit. Let me add one thing in here. I would like to add just. I prefer it. Here we go. A separator. There we go. Uh, so yeah, you can organize your, your little panel there too. And you can get anal retentive about it if you want, like I'm doing right now. But anyhow, we're done with that. Now over here, your time and clock. Now if you click on it, look at here. Isn't that cool? And if we click on locations, wow, neat then edit and here's where you add location so it tells you type a city region or country name and then select a match from the pop-up so I'm gonna put Columbia South Carolina do we have that Code. Nope. Here we go. Some different Columbia, South Carolina areas. Um, goodness. Uh, nothing's really near me here. But we're going to do uh, this one's okay. I guess that's a, probably the closest I can get. Now I could add in the longitude and latitude to get exact location if I want, but you don't have to do that. Um, I'm on Eastern Time, so leave it there. Then. Instantly, it's got this. Isn't this cool? And I'm going to go to 12 hour format because I don't like the military time. And I'm going to tell you, yeah, show a second. So, and then we're going to go weathers in Celsius. I want to change it to Fahrenheit. And wind speed, I want miles per hour. Or actually, knots. So that's good. We set it and let's see. Let me in one, two, three. 
dummy's password and whoop, didn't mean to bang the mic y'all, sorry about that. And there we go, it has our correct time and everything. So just something cool, see the little moon, show you this evening, gives me the weather there. Calm, tells me when sun rises, at least the partial weather, the temperature. So. Alright, that shows sunrise and sunset, which is pretty cool. So, just a couple little goodies. And yes, drop all the way to privileges. We don't need this now. Okay, that's what we just did. See, we set elevated privileges to set our clock and the location. Yeah, removing the key. Got rid of that. So, that's the first few bit of little tweaks, adding your menu items there. Now I'm going to show you, um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add um, two new uh, um, terminals. Excuse, excuse me, my mind went blank. And I'm going to show you the advantage of adding these two new custom terminals. And we're also going to add them to our drawer here, so we have a selection of three. Alright, so thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.